I'll stay a little faster. But Taurus, still not getting it, are you? No. I, you know, I'm not even going to tell you. Taurus, I've never heard of that Pokemon. Oh, I can't do that. A platypus? Oh, oh my, my God. fucking God, Mark. Clitoris. Never heard of that Pokemon. Oh! Oh my God, finally. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm hunched over a desk right now. Wow, you're really gay. Oh my, okay. You know <laughs> what, Mark? I told you I'd have to be the man in the relationship <laughs> if you were gay. And why don't you what? go ahead and tell us why it says, uh, code of conduct there, Jeremy. Oh god, um, okay, so, well, I put, uh, I put a couple of things as my motto and bio. I was watching Trailer Park Boys the other day, and the Liquor and, Ho Liquor and Horse song came on. So I put liquor and whores as my motto, and in reference to the last video we made, the whole time to go fuck a blender, I kind of put that in my bio. <laughs> 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 so for one of those two, if not both re reasons, I mean, I, I censored it a little bit, but I, I guess they still considered it offensive uh, but for yeah. one of those two reasons or both. They banned me for 24 <laughs> hours. I'm ignorant slut. Alright, so while I'm doing this, I'm just gonna uh, see it, uh, check Xbox Code of Conduct here. I still just think it's funny. Hey, but, you know, that's the first time I've been banned yeah. in like seven or eight years. I think they removed my gamer picture too. Uh, yeah, they did. <laughs> <laughs> In-game content, videos, or any other content that users may be offended by this, which is includes, without limitation to, profane words or phrases, topics or content of a sexual nature, hate speech, illegal drugs, illegal activities, controversial religious topics, notorious people or organizations, sensitive current or historical events, any sound-alike or look-alike word, phrases, or puns reference to the topic. <laughs> so, if you censor one letter in a cuss word, he basically you're dead. <laughs> then they're probably gonna pick yep, up they're gonna pick right up on that. You're stupid. Yeah, well, you know, it seemed like a good idea at the time, and you know, <laughs> I get you. Stupid. But then afterwards, after I after I couldn't get up. <laughs> After I couldn't get on and told me to go check my email for details, I just kind of like smacked myself in the face. I was like, well, time to go fuck a blender, and I stormed off. Did I tell you I'm going to go see Lana Del Rey? Uh, you didn't tell me, but I'm proud of you. I, I'm going to go see Courtney Love and Lana Del Rey in May. She's his Lana Del Bay. Mm -hmm. Sounds like fun. It is, and it's going to be surrounded by these other faggots. Probably. <laughs> I don't want... All of that sounds like... Awful. Courtney Love, Lana Del Rey, and a bunch of gay people? No. <laughs> no. Really? J Jeremy, I'm not... You know what? I'm gonna let you live tonight. <laughs> Very tired. Yes, I just yeah. won this game of magic. Victory is mine. Um... I was nerdy. Congrats on being number one nerd. <laughs> okay. Uh... uh you are the number one nerd. <laughs> I don't deny that, probably. Well, Mark, let me explain something to you. Because, you know, you listen to shit music and I listen to good music. And did you finish Angel Beads? I knew there was something I forgot to do. So good. Oh my god, I cried every time. I remember one time I watched Nana with, um, with Nick and Jeremy, and he would just laugh because I would cry every episode. <laughs> <laughs> He'd be like, Mark, are you crying? I'm like, shut up, Nick. Okay, so I've got a story about Mark here. He's come up to coming from Texas and stayed with me a couple of times. Last time he was here, the day he was leaving, because uh, he didn't get service up here, so he didn't get any phone calls. Yeah. There's no way he would have known that this was going to happen. But, but the day he was leaving, I recorded uh, a little sound clip onto his phone and made it his ringtone. It's actually a comedy. It's a little comedy bit by uh, mm -hmm. I think the guy's name is Baron Vaughn. And they're talking about uh, being in San Francisco, and something about you know, like this is a safe neighborhood. You can 
walk around and no one's going to bother you. And then there's another guy, and he's like, well, I don't know what you're talking about. When I walk down the street, there are people everywhere just going, penises, penises, <laughs> lollipops. Okay, it's a song about penises and lollipops, basically. And uh, he... He called me when he got back home, and the first thing he said was, Jeremy, I hate you. <laughs> and I just started laughing. I knew right away what had happened. And he explained to me, when he was uh, on the flight back home on his layover, he was standing in the airport uh, next to uh, what he says is a really hot guy. <laughs> and his mom called him and was just checking in on him. And... He had heard a sound, but he didn't realize it was him. He just heard the penises, penises, lollipop. <laughs> and it, he, it got almost to the end of the ringtone. And this guy is just staring at him, and he realizes, holy shit, that's my phone. <laughs> <laughs> and then the hot guy walked away. <laughs> like, for the first 30 seconds, I'm like, I know I've heard this somewhere. Where is this from? Possibly the greatest, that is one of the greatest accomplishments of my <laughs> life right there.